If there's one thing that everyone in this room today knows for certain, it is that they and everyone they know will eventually die. No, I am not describing the plot of Game of Thrones, rather an objective reality of the human condition. Death is certain, but what is uncertain is exactly when, where, and how one will die. Similarly, when it rains incessantly for a few days, it does not take a genius to deduce that floods will follow, although predicting exactly when, where, and how these will occur is a real challenge. This is where my PhD comes in. I am trying to improve the quality of flood forecasts generated by mathematical models using the power of big geo data captured by our Earth observation satellites. You see, mathematical models are nothing but a set of equations that try to approximate the real world flow physics. Now the problem is, when we try to condense a whole host of complex flow processes in the form of a few simple equations that can also be rapidly solved by our computers, a lot of detail that is essential for accuracy is unfortunately lost. Now in order to increase the forecast accuracy, we can consider integrating our model forecasts with real world observations, thereby increasing the information content and reducing the forecast errors. In my study, I'm also investigating exactly when, where, and how often these images should be acquired in order to gain the maximum possible improvements from this model data integration. At any given time during a flood event then, our mathematical model predicts how the inundated area should look based on the embedded real world flow physics. And at the same time, our satellite is able to observe it synoptically in the field. A comparison of the two yields critical information about the performance of the model and then helps to design optimum correction strategies such that we can gain maximum improvements from each individual image. I'm testing my approach through a prototype flood forecasting system in the Clarence Cashment Australia, and my results suggest that we can improve forecast accuracy by up to 30% with improvements persisting for more than 48 hours. These results are significant for a developing country like India where flood losses are often exacerbated by low climatic resilience of the populations. So while death might still be certain, through my research, I'm trying to ensure that not a single one is caused by floods. Thank you.